please, please do that uh, today or tomorrow at the latest. Um, and then uh, we will publish the electoral roll uh, two weeks before our uh, APCM. And the day of the APCM counts as one of the days that we publish it. Uh, so, uh, do do that after the service if you haven't. And if you're not sure if you're on the electoral roll or not, there is a, uh, an electoral roll out there in the porch. Check for your name, and if it's not there, and if you haven't filled in a form in the last couple of weeks, um, then uh, do that, please. Uh, and that is all for our APCM uh, annual meeting, which is on the 23rd of May. We still haven't changed it, um, but it is not 11.45pm. Uh, it's 11.45 a.m. That's a picture, so it's, uh, uh, I forgot to edit it, and it's quite hard to do so, uh, but I will just tell you. Uh, 11.45 a.m. on the 23rd of May. Uh, please do come along and be involved. That'd be great. And finally, I'm going to hand over to Paul. Has he sneaked up here somewhere? Is, oh, no, there he is. <laughs> you might, uh, in fact, you might want to use this one. Oh, they will. I know your voice is loud. It's not quite that loud. So, just to reassure everyone that's used to seeing me up here at Christmas at the crib service, you haven't overslept. The pandemic hasn't gone on an extra seven months. It's not Christmas. Just so you know, particularly at home. So, when I'm not doing crib services here at St Andrews, what I do is I train actors and musical theatre performers to become actors and musical theatre performers. And as you know, I'm sure, it's been a tricky time for everyone in the, in the, in the last year for the creative arts. And I normally work at some of the big drama schools and things like that, but I also work quite here in Hove and Brighton called ACT, the Academy of Creative Training. And they're slightly different model because it costs about 35,000, 40,000 pounds now to train to be an actor and to be out of work. It's quite extraordinary, isn't it? And, um, but um, the ACT model is slightly different because they uh, are a charity and they work for people who um, are, want to be actors but can't afford to go to the, the big drama school. So they work during the day and they do their training in the evening and at weekends. So they're very committed people. And they do a, a two-year course, and we were going to do, at the end of that, they do a big production. And unfortunately, the venue we were going to do it in has sadly shut down. Um, so we weren't able to do the show there. So um, we run around the normal places, you know, try to get another venue, you know, the Palladium, the O2, <laughs> places like that. But um, apparently they're all busy. Um, there's no room at the inn. So um, very kindly, we reached out to Dan here, Bob Dan, and has allowed us to come to St Andrews to actually perform our play. And we're going to be doing that in uh, the 26th to the 29th of May, uh, in uh, about three weeks. Right, we better get cracking. Um, and we're going to be doing it here in St Andrews. So the significant thing is about that is it's after the 17th of May, when the theatres reopen. And we're doing a play called The Alchemist, by a playwright called Ben Johnson, which some of you may know or may not know. You may be made to study it in English literature. Um, but he was a contemporary of Shakespeare's. And uh, the play, The Alchemist, is a comedy, and it's about um, set in the plague of London uh, at, uh, in 1640, in 10. So it is quite interesting, uh, there's some, uh, but it is a comedy. Huh. <laughs> plague and comedy, excellent. Uh, combination. So it's about when the rich people of London left their houses and the servants took over the house and they turned the London house into an alchemist shop. So alchemy is an interesting subject. It turns your saucepans into gold. Or so we think. So it's about how these con men dupe the Londoners, the rich and the wealthy of London out of their money. We'll be here. Um, so we're going to turn the church into a theatre for four nights. The, we've got some leaflets out there in the hallway. Um, it's got a QR code on that. Just QR on that and, and um, you know, you, you'll get tickets. It's £10 a ticket. We'll get the riddle. 
And then none of that attracts you. We, we are having a bar at the back of the church. So if all else fails, <laughs> we can enjoy ourselves out there. So that's from the 26th of May to the 29th of May. And hope, we'd love to see you here. To support the arts for, and support the church here as well in, in, in its events, we have done plays in the church before, but I don't think that we've ever done a full-length play. So it'd be interested to see how the church works in that way in a different space. So thank you very much. That's great, Paul. We do actually have a, a, a very short a teaser that's going to come up on the screen uh, of the alchemist. I hope. Um, this is Hot. Is that a a yeah, that's on the video. He's him corrupted and gave me some And then we'll a cheater and his punk. Who now will flow the ordinary practice, were become cosmos of love. And I really want him some else to set up. With him they here contract, each for a share. And all begin to act. Much company they draw and much abuse in casting figures, telling fortunes, news, selling of flowing, flat bordering with the stone, till it and they and, and all, all in few are gone. So get your tickets. Uh, well, as we come to, to the end of our service, uh, as we've been doing for the last uh, month or so, we're going to um, have uh, one of our video songs on the screen. Uh, and during that song, uh, that's the time to, to leave the church. Uh, and uh, we'll go outside as that song is playing. And outside, we'll be able to sing together and be down my vision. There are sheets on your pews that should have the, the words uh, on them. So do take those away with you. And so as we leave this morning, may God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.